It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Butcom Brewery and this is their Bohemia Craft Lager. It's in a 330 milliliter bottle coming in at 4.7% ABV. And there's a look at the label. Uh, Butcom, I've not had a beer from Butcom Brewing for, for quite a while. I think that's the Clifton suspension bridge on there. There you go. This is part of the Lidl's Craft Beer Festival range of beers. This beer come in at about £1.35 a bottle. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. I've lost my receipt, see. If you watch the unboxing video, I think I give all the correct pricing in the unboxing. It's about £1.35, £1.45, something like in, in that kind of ballpark figure. So the Craft Beer Festival runs August, very early August 2021. So we've got a one to two finger white head, uh, good levels of slow moving carbonation. And unless it's a bit of, yeah, it's a bit of condensation on the glass. It is, there's a little bit, little bit of haziness going on there, a little bit unfiltered. <clears throat> Looks very good. Uh, they're gold. Buckham Gold. Very, very good beer. Uh, Buckham Blonde, I think they make as well. A couple of the Buckham beers. They're based down Bristol area of the UK. Yeah, they make some decent stuff. Let's get the uh, aroma on this beer then. Mmm. Well. Yeah, this smells pretty decent. It smells like a Czech Pilsner. You got that, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess like that Saz hop. But I was at Brew London just, just over a week ago. Um, we were with the fantastic Budweiser Budvar Brewery. Uh, with their kind of like, he was like their, their sales and marketing type of bloke. Um, and what that man didn't know about beer wasn't worth knowing. Absolutely terrific. But I remember him talking us through the kind of the aromas and what we should expect to, to get from the beer. And this is very similar. Spicy, peppery, slightly dry aroma. It's like lemon, lime aromas coming through. It smells terrific. Got to dive in. Cheers, everybody. Czech pills all the way. If this hasn't been inspired by Czech beer, then well, I bet my house on it. I bet my house on it. That is just, just magnificent. That is magnificent. The the fact that a a British brewery have been able to replicate such a terrific style, which is Czech lager. Wow. Wow, that is incredible. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. It's like grainy, it's like light, crisp biscuit feel. Cracker bread, wafer flavours coming through. Oh my goodness me. So refreshing, so crisp, and that leads then to a slight sweetness from the malt, of course, that balances over to the fantastic rolling bitterness of what I'm going to stick with my guess here. I've not read the back of the bottle, but I'm going to go with Saz Hops. Unbelievable. I'm going to say stinging nettle as well. 
So the stinging nettle is a traditional kind of British European. It's it's kind of well, it's a nettle. They they use nettles before they use hops, <clears throat> but it's a cousin in the Darwin's tree of life. The nettle and the hop is very very much kind of cousins on the on the on the tree of life. So they're very similar, but the nettle is giving it it it's kind of slightly herbal and then spicy and peppery, nettly. People sometimes refer to this as being nettly. Yes, it is. It would be because of that stinging nettle kind of flavour going on. I bought this a few days ago up in Lidl. And if they've got anything left, any of this left, I'm going to clear the shelf. <laughs> I am going to clear the shelf of this. I had some comments in the unboxing video of these new little beers. Some comments saying, you know, they could take or leave these beers. People could, you know, they're not that bothered by it. I tell you what, you need to revisit, revisit this lager. Get a bottle of Budva, Budva Czech Pilsner. And put it up against this Buckham Brewery Bohemia. And you'll realise just how close, just how close... But come of gun, uh, come of to producing a terrific, terrific Czech style pilsner. <clears throat> it's wonderful. Right, uh, there are craft beers and there's Bohemia craft beer, brewed for the beatniks, uh, created against convention. Made by Mavericks, a bold, crisp and refreshing lager with a style of its own. So they're not claiming it to be a Czech Pilsner here, but I tell you what, that is so close to... Well, it is. that's a Czech Pilsner for me. Prized noble hops provide distinct spicy, earthy and floral notes uh, with a smooth bitterness. Born to stand out, we are the alternative. Drink it in. So I got it wrong. I got the hops wrong. I was pretty sure that it was Saz, Saz hops in that beer. I got it wrong. It was Noble hops. But I like to guess. I like to kind of go into the reviews blind. Because if I just stood here and went, yeah, there's Noble hops in this beer because I read the back of the bottle. For me, it feels like cheating. I've had a go at this. I've had a guess at this. I've given you my own... My own... <sighs> pardon me, not that. My own thing with this beer. I've given you my own opinion with this beer. Buckham Brewery Limited, Cox's Green, Rington, Bristol. Unbelievable. Really, really good. That is one of the best British lagers on the market. That is one of the best British markets, British lagers on the market. It is absolutely wonderful. If you can't find this at the Little Craft Beer Festival because it's all sold out now, then just visit Buckham's website and order some bottles from there. You will not be disappointed, I promise you. If you like a Czech lager, try that. I like that beer enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!